We're now going to talk about how we go from general form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c to standard form f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k. And if you think about this for a minute, notice that we have to go from this which has two x's in it to this which has one. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to complete the square. But because we have function notation, we have to be a little more careful than we were before. So, as we're looking at this, what we need to do is start with f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And we're going to separate this out a little bit. And we're going to factor an a out of this. So when we factor that a out, it's going to give us an x squared plus b over a x. And we're going to have some blank here, plus c. And we're going to subtract a blank. But now there's a difference. Remember that this one and this one are tied together because we have to distribute to this. So this actually needs an a in front of it as well. And so now that we're here is that what we want to do is figure out how we complete the square here. So we're going to take the middle term. We're going to times it by half, which is the same as dividing by 2. It gives us b over 2a. And we're going to take that b over 2a and we're going to square it, which gives us b squared over 4a squared. And that's what we're going to put here and here. So 4a squared, nope, that goes on bottom. So this becomes a fraction bar. We get a b squared on top and a 4a squared on bottom. And we're going to get a b squared on top and a 4a squared on bottom. And notice we have an a on top and an two a's on bottom. So we can move those out of the way. And so we're going to get a times, this now factors as x plus b over 2a squared. That's what our completing the square does. And this becomes we have a 4a, so I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 4a over 4a. This becomes 4ac minus b squared all over 4a. And so now that we have this, we can look at this and notice that this is now our h is hidden right here because we're comparing this to x a times x minus h squared plus k. And so we get as a formula that h equals, I can rewrite this again as x minus a minus b over 2a squared. So h is this minus b over 2a. And this will always be true. Whatever our a, b, and c are, h is always minus b over 2a. Now the harder part is this k is 4ac minus b squared over 4a. And we don't like that nearly as much because that's harder to remember. So actually what we want to do is remember that this is a point hk. And all points x, y could also be written as x, f of x. So really what we want to do is we want to re rewrite our k so that k is equal to f of h since the h is the x value for that k. So once you find h, Plug it back into the function. Don't worry about memorize this. Don't memorize this. Even though it's right, it's too much work. It's far easier to just plug it into the function and get your result that way.